hi welcome back to our channel in today's video we will learn how to create rescue vm in azure so first let's quickly understand what is the rescue vm is sometime a vm might run into problems like boot issue connectivity issue or rdp failures so in these cases you may not able to access the vm directly vm to the rescue vm and you can start troubleshoot further let's get started we are logged in with the azure we have a one vm so let me go to that vm so let's say uh, i'm having one uh, connectivity issue or rdp failed issue for this specific vm and i want to uh, troubleshoot this vm into the rescue vm so what i will do we'll quickly create a one rescue vm first and then we'll uh, start the process so to create a rescue vm so rescue vm is nothing but it's a just virtual machine what we can do whenever you want to create any rescue vm for any faulty vm so just try to create a rescue vm with the same resource group where your faulty vm is or your nsg or your vnet okay so right now i am going to use this uh, as a faulty vm and we will create a rescue vm for this troubleshooting and create a azure click on azure virtual machine you can select same rg now you can set name as a rescue vm can use same os which uh, faulty vm has for troubleshooting just try to put a little bit like you know 4 4 vcpu and uh, 8 gb ram something so it will help you to do the troubleshooting further so in my case i am putting this one d2ds will put the username because whenever you want to access the rescue vm you need to log in with the local admin so you need to keep this remember this password click next rescue vm don't need any premium storage so i am going to select standard hd now coming back to the networking part so what we can do we can try to use the same vnet where we have a faulty vm so i am going to use same vnet and uh, the same subnet as well so here we will create a new public ip for access purpose now click on next we'll keep all the settings as it is let's click on create so once your rescue vm get created then we can start start performing further steps what we need to do whenever uh, let's say you have one faulty vm so first you need to uh, create one snapshot for that os disk and that from snapshot you need to create os disk i mean one data disk so which you can attach to the rescue vm so once this rescue vm is get created we'll go back to the vm and we'll create a data disk so now our rescue vm is created so let's go to the rescue vm yeah so we have a rescue vm let me go back to the vm let's say uh, this is our faulty vm so what what we will do go to the disk click on os disk we'll create a full and now next we'll keep all setting as it is no need to make any changes review and create first what we have done first we have uh, created a snapshot from that faulty vm with that snapshot we will create a one os disk i mean data disk one snapshot is get created let's go to the resource now we have a snapshot from this snapshot we will create a one disk we'll use this faulty vm os disk for troubleshooting so it is zone no need, no need just users need to you can keep all setting as it is and then create 
we have done so far we have created snapshot and from snapshot we have created one disk so now next step will be we need to attach that faulty vm os disk to the rescue vm let me go back to the vm now this is my rescue vm so click on rescue vm go to the disk now here you need to attach that will attach that faulty vm disk as a data disk apply we have a successfully attached faulty vm os disk to the rescue vm so let's go back to the os rescue vm first so next step would be like uh, you need to log in the rescue vm and then you need to install the hyper v so i am going to log in the rescue vm now so i am going to log in now yeah here we go now we will install hyper v first because with the help of hyper v we can create a virtual machine inside the vm and then we can attach that data disk to the i mean that hyper v vm so before that you already attach the data disk to the rescue vm so next step what you need to do just go to the disk management first open the disk management to the uh, rescue vm disable that os disk which you attach right so let's say this is my uh, the faulty vm disk okay so you just need to come here and uh, you need to disable oh sorry so it's already offline so keep offline as it is come here open the server manager so click on add next 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 add feature click on next 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 you can define a path for yourself so i'll i'll put the c and uh, something called i'll create a new like vhd something okay next and install so once hyper v role install then you you need to create a one virtual machine into the hyper v and then you can attach that uh, data disk into that vm now we have successfully installed hyper v so we'll we'll take a reboot so this is the boot diagnostic which help us to understand the current state of vm So we'll log in the rescue vm now so we'll create one hyper v vm so let's open the hyper v so under this hyper v you just need to create one vm okay so let me put the name like fair faulty vm generation one uh, you can define okay based on your requirement so i'll keep as it is keep as we can set like uh, 2 gb 2048 so here you need to select this option attach a virtual hard disk later click on next and now your virtual machine is created right click this setting under the ide controller 0 you need to click on add once you click on add here you will get that uh, data disk so click on that this physical hard drive here here you will get that uh, data disk which you have added apply now you can start this so in this way you can uh, do some further troubleshooting we understand how we can create rescue vm how we can create faulty vm data disk and attach to the rescue vm these are the steps which we uh, need to perform while uh, uh, working on the for rescue vm that's it for today's video if you found this video helpful please don't forget to share and subscribe our channel thanks for watching